When we moved to CARP, we moved here to be in the country. I was from a country background and that was very important to me. CARP is definitely in the country. We're still part of the city, but it's a great life to live, to be able to uh, you know, hear the birds and, and uh, the fresh air around you. So that was definitely something that drew us to, uh, to, to the country and, and to the village of CARP. Mural depicting 150 years of the CARP Fair. This is the 151st CARP Fair, so we are older than Confederation itself. Fairs were a, were a vital part of a community back in the 1800s. Um, it was a celebration for everyone to get together in the fall once their crops were off. And so having a agricultural fair was definitely a family event. It was an outing for people to celebrate the end of the harvest season. It's still very much an agricultural fair. Uh, we're still very much a family tradition. I think where people come back year after year, it's the first chance for kids, once they have gone off to university, it's their first chance to come home um, for the fair. And um, people that move away from CARP, I think they continue to return year after year. Well, you know, as being general manager of the fairgrounds, we are the biggest event that happens in, in the neighborhood. And um, we are a playgrounds for everyone um, that can, from walking their dog to their children, playing on the fairgrounds. And uh, it's just a tradition that the fourth weekend in September, they're back in Cork. You know, I think what it is, is you, you move to a place and you become part of the community. You raise your family, you get to know people, whether it's through nursery school and then later on in school. And, and that's what makes you part of that community is getting to know all your neighbors and your, and your kids' friends. And, and you definitely become, you want to become part of that community also.